Hey everybody, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed. In the last one, I kind of messed up. We had killed the main Templar, Robert the Sa Sa Sable, whatever the hell it is, and we found out that Al Mualim is actually, this is actually a little bit of the memory that we just finished, that he's the 10th Templar. So I'm actually going to replay this so you can see actually what happens, like the cutscene. So here we go. You can Let's use see. stealth kills if to create a distraction Al by throwing a knife, pushing somebody off a roof, or performing a stealth assassination. I'm so sorry, Altair. Um, if this is the last episode, uh, I mean, don't know. my student, we have much to discuss. We are close, Altair. Robert de Sable is now all that stands between us and victory. Wait, hang on. Okay, yeah, I see what I did. I actually messed up. I gotta actually start this. I thought this was something else. I am so sorry that you actually have to watch. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Um, also, if you remember, they said that all of the assassins were killed. So, let's go in. Masyaf Amwalam. Uh, I'm actually not looking forward to this. I always say when you have to murder or assassinate in this case, you're your friends. So let's go into it. You can use stealth kills to create a distraction sorry, by throwing a knife, pushing somebody off a roof, or performing a stealth assassination. What happened here? Where is everyone? Gone to see the master. Was it the Templars? Did they attack again? They walked the path. Hmm. What path? What are you talking about? Towards the light. Speak sense. There is only what the Master shows us. This is the truth. You've lost your mind. You too will walk the path, or you will perish. So the Master commands. It was Al Mualim, wasn't it? What's he done to you? Praise be to the Master, for he has led us to the light. Okay, that guy's going crazy. Wow, what is wrong with these I... What is wrong with some of these oh. people? They all look like... They look like zombies. I know the story of like Ezio Desmond and all that, but come on. Um, guys. Uh, what are you doing, guys? Uh, guys, what are you doing? What are you doing, guys? Kill the traitor! Order the man! 
bastard! He does not walk the path. Destroy him! So it seems. On. Guard yourself well, friend. Al Mualim has betrayed us. Yes. Betrayed his Templar allies as well. Mm. How do you know? After we spoke, I returned to the ruins beneath Solomon's temple. Robert had kept a journal, filled its pages with revelations. What I read there broke my heart. But it also opened my eyes. Mm. You were right, Altair. All along our master has used us. We were not meant to save the Holy Land, but deliver it to him. He must be stopped. Be careful, Malik. What he's done to the others, he'll do to us given the chance. You must stay far from him. What would you propose? My blade arm is still strong and my men remain my own. It would be a mistake not to use us. Distract these thralls then. Assault the fortress from behind. If you can draw their attention away from me, I might reach Al Muallam. I will do as you ask, Dai. The men we face. Their minds are not their own. If you can avoid killing them. Yes. Though he has betrayed the tenets of the Creed, it does not okay. mean we must as well. I'll do what I can. It's all I ask. Safety and peace, my friend. Your presence there... here will deliver us both. Mm. They're concerned more about the Creed? In what part? He's already compromised the creed. Sorry, pretty much told you all to go. Oh fuck! Pretty much told. I'm um, Had pretty much told you guys to go fuck yourselves. There are so many innocents. Oh, I must be careful not to harm them. I've never been one to run. Never been one to listen, either. I still live because of it. What will I do with you? Let me go. Oh, Altair. I hear the hatred in your voice. Feel its heat. Let you go? Now that would be unwise. Why are you doing this? I found proof. Proof of what? That nothing is true, and everything is permitted. Come, destroy the betrayer. Send him from this world. What? I kill you guys. I kill you. Oh, my 
Words? You lied to me. Called Robert's goal foul when all along it was yours as well. I've never been much good at sharing. You won't succeed. Others will find the strength to stand against you. And this is why, so long as men maintain free will, there can be no peace. I killed the last man who spoke as such. Bold words, boy. But just words then let me go i'll put words into action <laughs> tell me master why did you not make me like the other assassins why allow me to retain my mind who you are and what you do are twined too tight together to rob you of one would have deprived me of the other and those templars had to die <sighs> but the truth is i did try in my study, when I showed you the treasure. But you are not like the others. You saw through the illusion. Illusion? That's all it's ever done. This Templar treasure, this piece of Eden, this word of God. Do you understand now? The Red Sea was never parted. Water never turned to wine. It was not the machinations of Iris that spawned the Trojan War, but this! Illusions! All of them! What you plan is no less an illusion. To force men to follow you against their will. Is it any less real than the phantoms the Saracens and Crusaders follow now? Those craven gods who retreat from this world that men might slaughter one another in their names? They live amongst an illusion already. I'm simply giving them another. One that demands less like blood. Like At least they choose these phantoms. Or do they? Aside from the occasional convert or heretic? It isn't right. Ah, and now logic has left you. 
In its place, you embrace emotion. I am disappointed. What's to be done, then? You will not follow me, and I cannot compel you. And you refuse to give up this evil scheme. It seems, then, we are at an impasse. No, we are at an end. I will miss you, Altair. You were my very best student. I know I'm not going to be able to hit him like that. Because there's a storyline. Fuck you. There it is. Nice. Die, bitch. Impossible. The student does not defeat the teacher. A shay waqa un mutlak bel kullun mumkin. So it seems. You have won then. <laughs> Go and claim your prize. You held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Then I will. We'll see about that. I applied my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also was a chasing after wind, for in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. Whoa. Destroy it! Are those? Destroy it as you said you would. I... 
I can't. Yes, you can, Altair. But you both. Japan, Australia, Russia, China, India. Uh, some in Africa, New York, New Florida, just above Mexico, California, and Canada. We've got it. We've got the map. How many? At least half a dozen. We don't need them all. We should assume some amount of decay. I can't imagine they'll all still be functioning. At least two appear to reside on land masses that no longer exist. We'll dispatch teams to each site and determine viability. We only need one, after all. What about the rest? Collect them. Let's not leave anything to chance. Last thing we need is some damn survivor making trouble for us in the new world. And the assassin? We have what we need. Kill him. Wait. You know how these things work. I doubt we'll be able to walk right in. What's your point? We might need him. His memories. I'd recommend we hold him until we have confirmation that there aren't any surprises waiting for us at the sites. This is a waste of time. You said it yourself. We shouldn't leave anything to chance. Very well. Ensure we have no further need of him, then kill him. Fine. Stop undermining my authority! I just saved your ass. Let's go. We've got a lot of work to do. Don't get too comfortable, Mr. Miles. Fuck you. We'll be back for you soon enough. What the hell is that? Keeping here before me. And what happened to him? What does it mean, I wonder? And that is the end of Assassin's Creed. Thank you for watching. Thank you for. Yeah, thank you for watching through this. Like, leave a comment down below to so let me know how far you watched. Um, as you know, I'm going to set the next week in the body to do any sort of recap And then I'm going to start with the next And then, happily, I mean, it's not only happy, Authority collection on the Xbox One, which means all the DLCs for Two, Revelation, and Brotherhood will be in it. So I'll, every yeah, I'll play the whole game for you guys. You guys will be seeing also the little other stuff to do, like the Assassin's Bureau, the 
brain the attack and do stuff with them. All kinds of stuff. And <laughs> yeah, thank you for watching. I I got to I love I love this series. I love this series. I love that. As you know, in the next one we play a next year on a building that the Italian who is also the best of assassin. And he's the most known assassin if you can go and ask people about Assassin's Creed. So hopefully you'll like that. I'm letting these credits roll through so you can see everyone involved in making the first game. I'm gonna talk through it. So, yeah, it, it's been a blast. There were a few parts that were a little tricky. Uh, there were a few things I didn't like that I can do in other games where I kill one and then I gotta fight the other one. So, so kill one and then go right to the next one. So, like you can do with Ezio, which you can do with Tom, which you can do with uh, Edward. I'm glad they did. Um, don't forget that if you also subscribe and then comment, you can get your name made into the um, Minecraft cemetery. So all you do is say, hey, I want to be on a tombstone, and I will put your name that I see in the comments, and then And then I'll, if you put your age, I'll just guess a year up to 2017. And it's going to work like this. If you were here in 27, oh, my battery's on. If you were born, say, 95, like me, and you subscribed and commented in 90, not 98, in 2017 this year, when it gets to 2019, your tombstone will stay the same, but say someone else comments, then I'll switch it, then I'll make them 2018. You will still be there as 2017, like it is for all cemeteries around the world. So, um, ooh, I like that. Alessandro Rigotti. Sounds Italian. Well, it's the next game, but okay. Have you ever noticed this about, like, Connor? Not Connor, I mean. Well, no, Connor as well. All of them match up with skin color and looks of Desmond. And I know it's supposed to be because, ooh, they're related, but seriously. They're not supposed to be that close. Where, holy shit, they could be their, his, he could be their son. No. Instead, they make it look as if O'Shea, he's her son, to have long descended. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, how long are these credits? We are at a half an hour, and I wanted to say this. I am sorry for the last episode where it was only like, oh, ah, yeah, yeah, I think it was like 25 minutes. I wanted to apologize for that. I didn't know it was going to be that short a video. If I did know, I would have... I would have told you in part two of Jerusalem. Excuse me. Sorry, it's five in the morning here. So, it's been fun. I want this to get over because, as you see every time, if you watch these in the press, I say to Ubisoft and the creators of Assassin's Creed, I want to get their credits all the way through, so I am not technically taking credit for who made these games. The people who make these games work hard. I know one of my friends does it. He actually said that he had to game out for 40 hours a week or more. And then he had time paperwork. Like they bust their ass 
to play these games, make them perfect, and then reprogram them where they have faults, so we don't get like Skyrim where you get hit by a giant and you go flying in the air, and here if you get hit by a throwing knife, we'll make the guy fly. Which, in my opinion, would be kind of awesome. So, yeah, we're going to let the, this roll all the way out. Sorry about that, I had to take a drink of water. So, this was a lot of fun, like I said. Um, there were a little, a few things, for one, the story was a little boring, in my taste, compared to Assassin's Creed 2, where you can collect the pieces of Eden paperwork and all that, and so much other stuff. Ah, look at that, 1994. 9 to 2004. Ah, oh, man. It's been a long time for this game. So, thank you for watching. Let's see what happens after this. Oh, I knew it! Visions of the future. Okay, I knew there was something. I didn't know what. Is this kind of like what other games do where I can jump in and out of the Animus? Yeah, it's where I can jump in and out of the Animus. Maybe I can figure something out, like, let's see if Altair knows anything. to or like a little sneak peek and so it's just pretty much saying fuck you and here's the other thing I don't like how you can't move with it probably it said something over here I want to look at that really quick before I finally say that's enough of this video there it is where all books contain thousands of pages and within each of them lies an ear irreparable truth Chinese Japanese thirteen hundred I think that's the Omega. What does it say over there? It says something over here. Alright. Oh, hang on. I think I'm up to. Okay, what does that say? Within Empire, Jordan, Sins, and Questionable Hunger lies the answers. I've entered the Abyss and never returned. 2213. 13.00.0.0. Again, that's. That's Chinese or Japanese. It's some kind of Asian writing. And. The planet. I don't know what that's saying. I entered the abyss and never returned. I knew it! 
means it's just it's sad to see what he wrote in his final days because oh that's Hebrew right there underneath the 13 that's Hebrew or something like that I, it's sad to see what happened anything in here of course nothing in the bathroom um, apparently the subject before me, I don't remember his number, he actually committed suicide. And apparently before he did that, he did this. He did this. What does it say? What the hell is there? I think it is. Yep. It's people with the apple at the top. Symbolizing apple of evil. Wait, what's that? There's a lot of stuff here, I just don't really know how to read it. A D R N A O O D T M W M B I T D O E U S four Sense R A R O O M R E A R E A four and Y is E four T N I D I M I D E T W I H W four I E A U D A Y H T one two two one two zero one two I I Spider Heart So again, that was Assassin's Creed 1. Stay tuned. Next week is a bye week, but the week after that is Assass the first episode of Assassin's Creed 2. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, leave a like down below. Comment if you want a tombstone or if you want me to do something in the next episode. Oh yeah, he's tired. <laughs> but comment down below if you want a tombstone or you just want to say something or get a shout out and remember as I'll always say have fun playing in the dark I'll see you audiomicro.com